everyone. I, B. Lilivia Lindu of Class 3 Kam School Payat, is standing before you to narrate the story that happened a long time ago in a small, beautiful village in Alapi. Vikis and his wife Stella were blessed with a beautiful angel Susanna. They brought her up in the belief of God. Vargis, being a poor farmer, could not afford her education and were forced to stop her from going to school. As years passed, the desire to go to school also grew along with her. But at that small age itself, understanding the financial circumstances of the family, she never relieved her little heart's desire to her parents. Being a pious girl, she never missed the daily holy mass. Their parish priest, Father Stephen, was very fond of her. So, Susan met the priest and shared her grief to have education. Hearing the little girl's wish, the priest overwhelmed with happiness and decided to meet her parents. On the very next day itself, Susanna, very enthusiastically, came with her parents to meet the priest. The priest told them about a nun in Ernakulam. She was Mother Teresa of St. Rose of Lima, who stepped forward to give proper education for the children coming from the poor family and the orphans, without any discrimination. Then the priest told, narrated about the life and contributions of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa of St. Rose of Lima was born in Madras in 1858. Her parents were Peter de Lima and Mary de Lima. Her baptismal name was Grace de Lima. Grace had a schooling at an Anglo-Indian school in Madras. Later, in, at the age of 21, Grace took charge of St. Joseph's School, Alapi, as the headmistress according to the wish of Father Alphonse. That was a milestone in her life. She was inspired by the Carmelite Fathers and decided to embrace the Carmelite spirituality. Later, at the age of 25, Grace was vested and given the name Sister Teresa of St. Rose of Lima. Later, in 1887, she founded the third order of our Lady of Mount Carmel today known as the Carmelite Sisters of St. Teresa. Then the priest concluded the talk and gave them a letter addressing to Mother Teresa and asked them to go and meet her with eyes full of tears and with a painful heart. While these and Stella left their beloved daughter in the hands of Mother Teresa, seeing the deep love and great compassion for the sufferings, and underprivileged and her tender love for the orphans deeply inspired Susanna and she grew in the mother's guidance. When Susanna was doing a higher education in Madras, one fine morning she woke up hearing a shocking news that Mother Teresa was no more. She and her sisters met with a train accident on September 12, 1902. The beautiful soul left for eternal rest at the age of 44. Even though this new shackle Susanna, keeping the burning grace of the mother inside her heart, continued doing her services to the society to fulfill her dreams. I would like to conclude my narration by saying that Mother Teresa was the one who lived for others, died with others and was buried with others. A tragic, but a beautiful end of a beautiful life that lived for others.